Thank you so much for staying here on News Desk. And guess who we have in the studio? We've got winners of this year's robotic competition held in the USA, the Mount Fair Methodist Girls Senior High School in the Eastern Region. Hello, ladies, and congratulations. Thank Great you. to have you here. Thank so you. these are just two of uh, members of the team that actually traveled to the USA and uh, made Ghana proud. How do you feel? Oh, we feel very happy. <laughs> All right, so this yes. is Naomi, and that's Arama, and they're a student of the Mamfe Methodist Girls Senior High School. And it's, it's, uh, it's great to have you here. Tell us about the experience. Well, the experience was an amazing one. The trip was amazing. The accommodation was amazing. <laughs> yes, um, we got to see places we've never seen before. We took a bus trip. Uh, we got to see Ohio, we got to pass through Pennsylvania and other places to get to Michigan. Mm. Yeah, so the trip to Michigan was That's an amazing good. trip. And um, mm. um, knowing Michigan, they make cars over there, so there were a lot of really nice oh, cars. So you're yes. excited about the whole robotics thing. Tell us how yes. you got interested in this. How did you even get to go to the U.S. to participate in this oh, competition? Well, there was a preliminary competition known as the Robotics Inspired Science Education which we won we here in Ghana. Yes, yes, here okay. in Ghana. Then it qualified us as the national qualifiers held by the Ghana Robotics Academy Foundation Graph. That so we took first and second place. So we got qualified to the Robofest International Competition. Mm. So first. tell us what you designed. What is it that wowed the judges and made them say, "Look, we've got to give the award to these girls from Ghana." And um, this competition was about binary blocks, and uh, this competition um, is where we had to build an, a robot to arrange white and black blocks according to a binary given in four slots. And binary deals with a numeric system of zero and one. So they can give us, uh, they can give us a number ranging from zero to 15. They give us the number. We then have to find its binary and arrange the white and black box according to that binary given within two minutes. Within two minutes? Two minutes, yes. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what's all this binary binary about? I'm sure a lot of people have forgotten their sciences. Mm -hmm. So what exactly did you develop? Because we saw some, a video of something moving, right? Yes. What, what, what is that? What is it supposed to do, Irama? Uh, the robot is just supposed to push and stack boxes into four bits according to the binary number given. Can you speak up a little? I'm struggling to hear you. Well, the robot is designed to push and stack boxes in four bits according to the binary number given. Yes. Okay, so you had to develop something. They had to move boxes yes. into a certain formation or into a certain... Uh, yeah, yeah. No, um, the box actually had weight. Okay. They had weight on it. Mm. So like, um, is, uh, Lego kids couldn't carry it. So we decided that we should come with a, a technique that could rather slide mm. on it to place the box on it. Yes. Mm. So tell us, what, what have you been doing since you came to Ghana? I hear you're going to meet the president. Have you done that already? Uh, no, yes. Uh, they're actually in the process of getting us to meet him, but we have hope we'll meet him soon. How did you get interested in science and robotics? Well, as a girl growing up, I've always been interested in science, actually. And my dream job is to be a nuclear physicist. So I decided that when I come to school, I have to study science. And I found out that there was a robotics club, and I'm sure that I was sure that they could help me achieve my dream and broaden my mind about engineering. So I'd say it's right. And so is robotics a part of what you study in school now, or it's a separate course that you do on the side and, and you're not examined on? Well, it's an extracurricular activity, actually. It's under the STEM club, which is the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics mm. the initiative. And what about you, Naomi? How did you get interested in science? What about science tickles you? Because you, we're talking about Michigan and the cars. I could see some <laughs> sparkle in your eyes. Well, uh, science is everything around us and I'm more uh, uh, in love with nature and what God has created and this world now it's now changing to the technology side so robotics helps me in relation to it knowing that I want to be a, robot, a robotics engineer and I see robotics um, a, a path for me to engage in to exceed what I have to do and also here in Ghana um, rob uh, knowing that the world is going on in technology if and the world is changing real fast mm -hmm. if we don't um, use that opportunity to catch up with them we'll actually fall far behind you want to be a robotics engineer do you see yes, a future for yourself in Ghana do you think there's a, a, a ready venture for you a ready uh, industry for you 
Well, I don't know for sure because Ghana don't offer the robotics engineering course. They don't offer that course at all. But there are so many problems that in Ghana we have to fix. So it's better to go and learn and come back and develop your country for its better good mm -hmm. to help the next generation to come. So it means you're hoping to further your studies outside the country. Yes. Because. But do you, do you, you want to be a, a physicist, is yeah, it? Yeah, nuclear. A nuclear physicist. Do you yeah. see a future for yourself in Ghana? Is there well, a ready industry for you? I checked, but there's no university that actually offers that. But we went, when we went, we saw that MIT and MSU actually do. So I plan on also learning then coming to better uh, energy crisis here. Would you have wished that you could have stayed home to do it? Yeah. Yeah, it's much easier. Yeah, it's much easier. <laughs> Less no stress, yes. yes. No <laughs> okay. And uh, your coach has joined us via Skype. He's Ben Amwako. Thank you so much, Mr. Amwako, for joining the show. Tell us how you took these girls to this point to make all of us here in Ghana proud. Thank you. Good morning to our uh, viewers. Uh, I believe strongly that the country has rich uh, human resource and more especially in girls that most people don't believe that uh, they have the ability to do even more than boys can do. Uh, moreover, um, I work with the New York Academy of Sciences and they work more with girls and I've, I've realized that when you use girls in the science fields, they do much better when you encourage and push them a bit further. At what point did you meet these girls? I mean, at what level in their understanding of robotics did you meet them? And how challenging or easy was it for you to take them to that point to win the competition? Um, right from the day they entered the school, Form 1, that is when I <clears throat> take a good look at those who are capable or have interest in engineering or the sciences. And that is how I do my selection. And then one major challenge has to do with uh, girls being a bit dull when it comes to the sciences. It's not as if they don't have the skill, they do have. But then you have to push everything. Mm. If you push too much, you end up messing up everything. Mm. Let, me, let me ask you this briefly. You are a coach. I've asked these young girls what future they hope to have, and they don't seem to find the opportunities here in Ghana. What would you wish would be done to support dreams like uh, uh, that of the many girls that you're coaching uh, so that we can have talents like this and uh, resources like this and brains like this stay right here in the country? Yeah, it's sad because um, I represent quite a number of universities from the US and Canada. And if you compare the courses they run to what we do here, it's so sad that we are still not catching up with uh, today's technology. I have asked quite a number of them if it is possible to uh, run campuses in Africa, and it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. Um, also, to get our students there is also expensive. We don't have that kind of funding. So um, I have always said it will be good if the government will change some uh, some of the curriculum to suit the emerging innovation that is coming up. Chair sure, Ben Amak, I'm sure you're very proud. We all are proud of you. Thank you so much for what you do with these young girls and giving them the hope uh, uh, to, to aspire to be, to be great. Thank you very much. Let me come back to you, young ladies. Uh, we're trying to see uh, if we can reach the headmistress. And this is not the team. How many girls are you, actually? We're 10. You're 10 ladies? Yes. Hopefully, we'll be able to see the other ladies and just say hello to them uh, on the other side of, of, of our studio. So let me just share with you what happened while I was on that Skype. You know, these girls are so conscious of the environment, like they told you. So you were, you were telling her something about this? On the on on the desk, what what was it about it that inter does it remind you of something? Does it make you think about something? I was just intrigued how this table could actually be supported by this. Okay, you're wondering how this is supported by that. So is, yeah. there, is the science aspect of you that's working here? <laughs> <laughs> it just shows you that these girls are just 
enthused and excited about what they do. We are really, really proud of you. Um, when I heard the news, and I'm sure a lot of other people heard the news, they were really excited. What would you say to a, a young girl? You're an SS now. I know you're young, but what about maybe a five-year-old, uh, someone younger than you who hopes to get to the level at which you are? What would you tell them to do to get there? Yeah, I would say that science is not difficult. You just need to be self-disciplined because that is all you need. And you need to have good moral ethics. You need to be determined because it's, it's not difficult, but it's also not easy. If you're not pushed, if you don't encourage yourself, you can't do it. Were you ever pushed? Oh, I was pushed by my parents <laughs> and my coach. Yeah, and very mid time. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we didn't have it easy with them, we didn't at, have all. It easy with them <laughs> at all. They kept yes. pushing us, but because of that, we were able to emerge champions. Mm. And what would you like to share with someone who's younger than you who wants to be just like you? Yes, first of all, you have to be disciplined because if you're not disciplined, you can't actually go with whatever you're given. And also, to I want them to. Uh, pay attention to what goes on around them because it's not always a time where we always have to follow a straight line to reach a destination. You have to get some good ways um, in order to get there. So we should just pay attention to what you have to do. Be determined in who you are and have faith in yourself and then just be good to yourself. Yes. Mm, interesting. Uh, just for me, how old are you? I'm 18 years old. How old are you? And I'm 15. 15? <laughs> yes. Wow, can you believe this? 15 year Old and an 18 year old talking like this is just amazing. I'm just in awe of you ladies. And um, you've been sharing with us your story winning the, the RoboFest competition. So I, I presume that you are, you're exiting school? Yes, I'm about to. You're about I'm to. Now get into a third year. Actually. Third year. And yes. you are also going to your third I'm in your first year. You're, you're in your first year? Yes. All right, that's interesting. So uh, stepping out of school, you said you wanted to study outside. Yes, ma'am. But are there any other options you're looking to here in Ghana? No. My only focus is just on robotics engineering. And mm. I don't think there's anything that can actually, because at first I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. But after the introduction of robotics, after the introduction of robotics and how it will um, enable us to build, build on um, our imagination, actually built in the interest. And when I found out that, um, there's a course that we can offer, which is robotics engineering. I decided to go through that path. Mm. All right. So let me just go quickly to uh, the headmistress of the Mount Faith Methodist Girls Senior High School, Madam Sylvia Elizabeth Lyon. She's got the, the rest of the team behind her. Hello, Madam. How are you doing? Hello. I'm Hi. Fine. Good to Thank see you. you. How does this make you feel? Your girls have made all of us proud. I feel so excited. And I think I'm the champion of all the schools and <laughs> So we've just been hearing from Naomi and um, Irama about how they got to this point and the fact that they were taking extra classes. That was not part of the, the curriculum. What do you yes. hope to do or what's your dream really uh, to incorporate this in, in the general curriculum so that we can have more girls uh, studying this, the, this robotics. I think uh, we we'll have to talk to the Ministry of Education, and then this, uh, those who are in charge of the curriculum at the headquarters, and then find a way of having an extra curriculum because already the syllabus is choked, mm -hmm. and so there is the need to go outside the syllabus. Head should find extra days that they will be less busy and then let the student practice because uh, they have to do hands-on after the theory work and then come to outside the school curriculum and then do the work how easy or difficult was it for you managing these girls and helping them together with your coach reach this this point it wasn't that difficult but they are disciplined as she said if you're not disciplined you can't so it's discipline first, and they are good. Academically, they are good. So it made it easier for us. And the teacher and the coach is so devoted, selfless, and I don't know how to describe him. Hmm. I, I, I'm sure that 
when many people think about really good schools in Ghana, there are some names. I won't mention them here. But how does this make you feel as a headmistress in terms of reputation for your school? Unfortunately, many people don't know the school. But for us, we believe in ourselves. Because we are giving them, we are meeting them boot for boot in academic fields. We are performing very well. And so uh, for us, we don't want to work in any school's shadow. We are on our own. And mm. I, I tell very soon, we'll be champions again. All right. I, I love that. So what, what are you doing uh, ahead of the next event, which I believe will be next year? Uh, once you say you'll be champions again, I'm sure there's something, something happening. Tell us about that. Yeah, because we'll be going for the other competitions. We'll be pleading that corporate bodies come to our aid because our kids are not enough. We may need more to practice. And they, when they got there, they saw advanced kids. Ours is not to that level. So we would want to have the modern ones and also the e-learning center where we not, they normally do the practice. If they are refurbished for us, we'll be very happy because the terrain over there was different from what they were practicing on. Ours was rough, but when they got there, they found that it was smooth. So we'll be happy if people come to our aid and refurbish the uh, lab for us. I think it will take them to many places. Mm. And uh, would you want to mention or thank any people or organizations that helped you? I know you're affiliated to the Methodist Church, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm sure uh, the, 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 the church is also proud of you, but any people you want to thank? Yeah, I will still thank the Methodist Church for buying us two kits in the last minute. I want to thank the Deputy Minister for Education who at the last moment raised funds for us to go. And then I want to thank MTN and uh, Japan Motors. Oh! suppliers to schools, uh, corporate bodies, I want to thank all of them, and Ghanaians, I mm. want to say very big thank you to them. Thank you, Tim. I'd like to say hello to the ladies behind you. I don't know if they can hear me. Hello, ladies. Hi. Thank you all so much, and okay. keep up the good work. Thank you. I had uh, Catherine Irama Bamson and Naomi Edam Kuma in the studio, and they're part of that team you saw that won their robotics in a competition in the U.S. of A. You've heard all they have to say, and uh, we're just in awe of them. We allow them to, to enjoy the moment as it is and prepare for the next competition. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Thank I've you really enjoyed your company us. this morning. <laughs> and uh, don't go away. We've got more technology news coming up. Yeah, uh, Kobe Spike and Kuma will be joining us with the latest from the world of technology this day.